dollar, dollar, dollar. Dirt and money, no so. Had to go and get it, ain't no time to kick it. Got a stack of flip for my foes. Dollar, 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 dollar. Please tell me you can hear me. Don't turn your back and don't declare me. Just let me know if you need me. Dollar, 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 dollar. Let me watch out for my partners. Keep my money long, get my team strong. Let me run away from my problems. Yo, let's get original crew, man. We back. Just like that. I said slice it. Mm. Mm -mm. But, um, <laughs> mm. we back with another son of V2, man. We got legendary memes. Where are they now? Well, mm. where are they today? Where are they now would have been better. Where are they today? Where are they, where are they now? Where are they today? It, it don't matter. It been it's the same. Better. Where are they now, you know? <laughs> but, um, <laughs> what's one of the um, most legendary the only meme that come to my head. When you say legendary. Could, the only one I can think of is the look cuz um uh was it the little girl? She had on like the little black girl and she had on like the little tutu or the little ballerina look. I don't know what you're talking about. Little... Talking oh, about. Well, never mind. Most legendary one when I when you say legendary, I'm thinking like the first viral meme, I guess. Which, or video clip. Yeah, because that's what I'm thinking. It's a the, video. It's Charlie Bet, my. Oh. That's the, like, yeah, that's that the grail. That that's was, the grail of them all. That was such a. Charlie Bet, my. There was another one. Um, they did a uh, Where Are They Now a while ago, I know. But I want to Where Are They Now. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, hey, right, man. Yeah. We're going to see, check out some legendary memes uh, and see where the people behind the memes are at today. So mm -hmm. with that being said, make sure you check out the links in the description box. Down below. You already know where to go. You want to first support. All you have to do is check out down below. Also, if you enjoyed today's video. I like it with a thumbs up. Do it before I shoot you. Mm -hmm. oh, Bam! No. I didn't even realize I did that said. because you didn't like the video. You didn't do what she said. No, we don't have to. I'm the muscle. You ready? Yes, I'm ready. All right. <laughs> The people in these 10 classic memes look completely different to when they first went viral, starting with Side Eye Chloe, which came from a 2013 video titled Lily's Disneyland Surprise. In the video, the parents tell their two kids, Lily and Chloe, that they're ditching school to instead go to Disneyland. Chloe, we're going to Disneyland! Oh my <laughs> With the moment that then being like, shared to Tumblr, I never, is, I never knew like the story behind it. I, I didn't at first, but I think I recently seen it. Uh, nah. Like recently, I ain't know. I just always seen a picture. Of the but yeah, that definitely is legendary. <laughs> like that's all I ever seen. She's like, girl, I'm not interested, <laughs> not excited at all. We're going to Disneyland. Oh my God. <laughs> with the moment then being shared to Tumblr, where it received over 2 million notes with the title, I just love this because Chloe is like, the hell is this girl crying about? <laughs> the post then prompted a BuzzFeed article titled, Side Eye and Chloe is officially the patron saint of Tumblr, in which they'd show that the meme had expanded and was now being put over everything from album covers wow. to religious figures. Around four wow. years after the meme first blew up, Chloe visited the Brazilian Google office, where her face had been turned into an elevator and was being used around the city for advertising so we just drive that that's low-key disrespectful though mm -hmm. right because you got to think about all these companies use her image for likeness right yeah and how much money did she make you use my image you know what i'm yeah. saying like this is google y'all yeah. using me for advertisement yeah and y'all just took my photo yeah and as a child there's nothing you can do about it but mm -hmm. you're you know how much money people made off of you that's kind of fucked up, though. And there was my child on a billboard. I was just blown away. But what happened to Chloe after the hype died down? After appearing in the meme at the age of two, Chloe's mother continued to video her life up until the age of 10, at which point the family decided to sell the meme as an NFT, achieving a oh. price of 74,000 US dollars. They plan on using the money to put their kids through college, which isn't a bad idea given Chloe and her sister are now both in their teens, as is Dennis Collins. Okay. I take my, I take what I said back. They was able to sell it and make some money on it, and for a good cause to send the kids to college. And you can put that in a trust and let it gain interest, and you may have more money. Right. So they, they did right. They did right. Now this definitely. Yeah, I, I don't know why I didn't think of this one. I, I already seen his his where he is at today. Oh, okay. He he done had a whole pop out new pop out deal. 
He was in Popeye's door then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just recently went like he has a, he has a Popeye. Yeah, Popeye's deal. Oh, okay. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he played college football. Also known as the Popeyes Kid. The meme began with an extremely basic vine back in August 2013, where the real Snoopy videoed a random kid in Popeyes who was waiting to refill his drink. Terrio at Popeyes. Say ooh. Say ooh. The following day, the image made its way over to Twitter with the caption, when I see my teacher at a store, with the subsequent popularity of the meme, giving the kid social anxiety throughout his early teens. Damn. However, this would motivate him to increase his skills as a football player, making a post on Twitter roughly nine years after first going viral, reading from Popeyes to state champion. The post was then reshared to Dennis's Instagram with the caption, I need everyone to repost this and tag at Popeyes. I just want to talk business, which was followed by another post only three days later announcing that he'd been officially sponsored by the company. He'd then feature in their Super Bowl commercial where he'd announce his own celebrity meal deal called the Eyes on the Fries or Pies Offer, which then led to him winning Breakthrough Athlete of the Year at his Lake Erie College just a few months ago. Although, while Dennis' story started low and ended triumphantly, El Reseda's story started triumphantly but ended in tragedy. The meme was born back in June 2007 when El Reseda- This is one of my favorite joints, the dual be left. <laughs> That's one of the funniest As translating to The Giggles, was interviewed on a Spanish TV show where he displayed quite possibly the most contagious laugh in human history. <laughs> 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 Within only five days of the original interview, the clip had made its way over to YouTube. However, in September 2020, El Reseda's was hospitalized as a result of diabetes, where he had to have his left leg amputated. In response to the unfortunate situation, a French video forum raised 14,000 euros for El Reseda's, allowing him to purchase an electric scooter and wheelchair, although within only six months, he was back in the hospital. El Reseda's passed away on the 28th of April 2021 from complications related to his illness. Yet his presence on the internet will likely live forever, as will Bad Luck Brian's where- RP man. I swear he had- This joint is one of the best things I have ever seen. Yeah. Damn RP to him, man likes it or not. The person in the photo's real name is Kyle Craven, who deliberately purchased a cheap thrift shop outfit so he could take a terrible yearbook photo. His friend then downloaded the photo, added the caption, takes driving test, gets first DUI, and posted it to the Advice Animal subreddit on the 24th of January 2012 with the title, Bad Luck Brian. The meme was then remade with a different caption reading, falls asleep in class, wet dream, with the now clearly established purpose causing the meme to go viral. Our series to tell a joke she turns on front camera. Stops, drops and rolls into another fire. Parents get divorced, no one wants custody. The virality of Bad Luck Brian led him to recreate the meme at VidCon two years later before he'd then get recognized by Seth Rogen, which turned into advertising opportunities with McDonald's, the General Car Insurance and Volkswagen. Bad Luck Brian then featured in a book on t-shirts in over 20 different games, which according to an interview with the Sydney Morning Herald, made him between wow. 15 and $20,000 in the three years after first going viral. The article also explained that Brian works as a project manager for his father's construction company, where according to his LinkedIn, he recently became the vice president after 17 years experience. Brian has since gotten married and had two kids, although as shown by this photo, they might not be a fan of the meme. <laughs> Despite this, Brian recreated the photo for his 32nd birthday, although can you even talk about bad luck Brian without mentioning scumbag Steve? The guy in the photo had posted the image to his MySpace back in 2000. 2006. However, it wouldn't be until the 21st of January 2011 when the photo was reposted to r slash funny with 11 different captions representing him as the unreciprocal stoner that everybody had in their school. I've never seen a meme I could relate to more. I knew so many kids like this in high school and unfortunately hung out with a lot of them for a while, stupid high school phase. This one is on the money, only made funnier when the real person in the picture came forward as 22 year old Blake Boston who was unemployed and wanting to fight anybody who talked about the meme. The fact that he's a real scumbag makes the meme a thousand times funnier. Steve then took advantage of the fame by launching his own rap career, starting a series called Scumbag Thursdays, and attending RaffleCon 2012, where he'd gained favor from the public after eventually embracing the meme. By this point, however, his popularity had well and truly faded, and Scumbag Steve fell back into obscurity. That 
that's one thing when it comes down to memes. Yeah. You, you low key just have to embrace it. Yeah. Like the more you try to fight it, the more you're gonna but see. You're not gonna. It. You're not going to be able to control every single person. Nah, you know nah. what I'm saying? There's no, nowadays, no matter what you put online, yeah. it's subject to possibly being a meme. You know how many things I've done on this damn channel? Yeah. It could be memes from like the stupid ass lads I do and all that. Like, all that could be memes. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So, you got to embrace it. Until April 2021, when Know Your Meme aired an update on his life. My name is Blake Boston, aka Scumbag Steve. In which he'd show that he still had the hat, while explaining that he was engaged, had two kids, and was trying to start a band. That very same month, Scumbag Steve sold the meme as an NFT for 57,000 US dollars before making a post on Twitter reading, Whoever this is, thank you. You have no idea what this meant to me and my two boys. I'm humbled and so grateful, turning Scumbag Steve into good guy Greg, who's identity is still a mystery more than 12 years later. Good Guy Greg has been described as the antithesis of Scumbag Steve. The captions generally depict the character as kind, generous, or empathetic to other people, having blown up around four months after Scumbag Steve with this image here. Sleeps on your couch, makes breakfast. Although despite the meme's instant popularity, the person in the picture never came forward to claim that it was them, until around three months later when the following post was made to the Ask Me Anything subreddit. I passed the six-week challenge and crewed along Side good guy Greg. I'm a commercial fisherman AMA, attaching five supposed photos of the man who looked nothing like good guy Greg. Am I the only one who can't see the resemblance to GGG, leading other commenters to dig a little deeper? How did you come to find out he was good guy Greg? We showed him a picture of good guy Greg and he said that it was him. We didn't tell him that his picture was famous. Did GGG wonder why you had a picture of him? Not really. What really? What the hell? So this random dude hops onto the same boat as him and just happens to have a picture of him from who knows how long ago and he's just yeah that's me and doesn't take a second to wonder why. In a different AMA a user claimed to know the real identity of the real good guy Greg before posting this photo which while looking extremely similar was debunked given the difference in eye colour. So this random dude hops onto the same boat as him and just happens to have a picture of him from who knows how long ago and he's just yeah that's me and doesn't take a second to wonder why. In a different AMA a user claimed to know the real identity of the real good guy Greg before posting this photo which while looking extremely similar was debunked given the difference in eye colour. The person in the picture likely didn't want to be famous from a photo of him smoking yet this comment puts forward a much more beautiful theory. He didn't come forward because he's a good guy who isn't interested in fame. He's humble and happy knowing that his picture is out there giving people joy and he's satisfied with that. He doesn't need the credit or the attention and it's hard to give an update on someone who's practically a ghost. Although the over- So why are we talking about him then? We don't know what he's doing today. We don't know. So I, hey, he could have he been left way. out. He a little relevant on this one, man. Damn. Touch girlfriend happens to be the opposite, having spent over 10 years on YouTube talking about the downsides of becoming a meme. The overly attached girlfriend came from a video titled JB Fan Video, in which a YouTuber named Lena Morris parodied Justin Bieber's song Boyfriend with lyrics depicting her as the stereotypical clingy girlfriend. Although as the meme began to go viral, it took only 11 days before Lena mentioned that she was uncomfortable with having her face everywhere. I'm always amused by the overly attached GF tweets, then I realized my face is associated with it and I'm slightly disturbed. Still awesome. Despite being slightly disturbed by the meme, it would shoot Lena into stardom with every video on her channel racking up over a million views each, although this fame wouldn't last forever. The meme slowly lost its relevance and by 2015, three years later, Lena was barely gaining 100,000 views per video. By 2019, Lena had completely abandoned her channel, prompting an upload titled Breaking Up With YouTube in which she'd explain how fame had taken a toll on her mental health. I sort of landed myself in a real depression and I was keeping it a real deep secret. For this reason, she'd then state that she was quitting YouTube for good. I know that this part of my life is done and it's time to say goodbye. Before announcing in April 2021 that she was selling her meme as an NFT. It managed to achieve a mind-blowing price of 411,000 US dollars during which she'd give her live reaction on Twitter by stating, what BRB, I need a minute, WTF. Truly, you have no idea how this is going to change my life. I mean it, I'm so incredibly thankful and also still just blown away. So weird, so cool, WTF, thank you internet. Although she could- That is crazy. Yeah. That, yeah.
And I'll say this, she like from seeing like the thumbnails of all her videos, yeah. she was really using that same sometimes you, her advantage. But I also say this, sometimes you reason why her channel kinda dies because And like people are okay. You 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 kept yourself in a box. Mm -hmm. You 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 tight casted yourself. You have to keep expanding and growing as yeah. the, as the years go by. You gotta change it up. Like you had to had the viewership from the meme. Mm -hmm. So don't just keep memeing us. Yeah. Like switch it up and let's see more of you. Right. I think she would have still been, you know what I'm saying, successful today. Yeah, true. And I don't know exactly like what her videos like yeah. consist of yeah. per se, but the thumbnail itself. Was it was like, the yeah. same, same basic yeah. same thumbnail, just different different yeah. poses. But same thumbnail. I'll never be as confused as the have you ever had a dream kid. The meme came from a 1999 HBO kid show and featured an unknown child who was attempting to recap. You said what? I didn't say anything. I just said in the beginning, I think this is one of my favorite ones. With well, him? Mm-hmm. Uh. The meme came from a 1999 HBO kid show and featured an unknown child who was attempting to recount this quote from Hercules. Haven't you ever had a dream? Something you wanted so bad you'd do anything? Instead, completely fumbling his words. Have you ever had a dream that that you um you had you 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 want you want him to do you so much you could do anything? In June 2011, approximately 12 years after the show aired, the clip was reposted to YouTube where it went unbelievably viral, having Damn. racked up over 80 million views since it was first posted. Although still, nobody knew the name of the child. That would be until the 8th of July 2021, when Wavy Websurf posted this video, prompting a message from a fan who told Wavy, Hey man, I know who the kid is from, have you ever had? had a dream. Went to high school with him. I'll give you his name so you can go check him out for yourself. He probably won't want to be out there like that, but thought it was cool you were looking and thought I'd give you the answer you were searching for before attaching a Facebook profile of someone named Joseph Serkiel who had the dream kid as his profile picture. After confirming that it was in fact him, the two recorded an interview where Joe explained that he was now working in the corporate world with the wavy web surf interview then leading to a BuzzFeed video which has since received almost 10 million views. Wow. Joe still looks pretty similar to how he looked as a child. However, the kazoo kid looks almost unrecognizable. The origins of this meme are actually very similar to that of the dream kid, as both include a five-year-old child landing a role on a VHS TV show, only to achieve random success on YouTube many years later. In this case, the 50 million view video was called You Are- So what? I'm sorry. I'm I cannot talking. hear you. You good? I'm not really talking like oh, loud. Bad, I'm just talking. I, I said to myself, I said, I think I like this one too. <laughs> Cause don't he be like, what? Something like that? I, I forgot, I forgot. We're gonna see. Zoo, and given it was filmed 25 years prior in 1989, people began to wonder where the kid ended up. Using his name listed in the credits, Brett Ambler, people were able to track down his Twitter, and since he was now in his mid-30s, he looked like a totally different person. With his newly found accidental fame, Brett announced that he'd be hosting an Ask Me Anything, on which he was asked, what profession do you have now? Are you an actor or musician? Responding with, I'm lucky enough to say that I'm still an actor and musician, which can be confirmed on his YouTube channel, where the Kazoo still appears in almost every video. But while the Kazoo Kid continues to document his media presence, the 9 plus 10 Kid has been so quiet, people thought he became a missing person. After the legendary Vine was posted back in June 2013, an article was published to the website Hustlers titled, 9 plus 10 equals 21 Kid Vine has reportedly run away from home and currently being searched for read goodbye note here, which stated the child whose real name is Habib Sis ran away from his home Saturday night and is currently being searched for throughout the whole Baltimore area. Authorities say the child left a goodbye note in his bedroom that read, I'm tired of everyone laughing at me. I'm running away forever now. If you want to find me, the only clue I'm leaving is 21. When the article was reposted to the IGN forums, users showed concern. However, it was quickly debunked when the original Viner uploaded a new video captioned, My little bro is all good. Whoever made up that story has no life. By the way, his name is Xavier. However, despite being given his first name, there's almost no other information about him anywhere on the internet. His last online appearance was in December 2014 when he'd recreate the meme. You stupid. Why not? No, but Twenty-one. Although since then the kid has completely vanished. His brother who uploaded the original Vine continues to post gym videos on TikTok and YouTube. However, his last name isn't public, so he can't figure out Xavier's full name. In a 9 plus 10 kid iceberg, one of the bottom tiers states, there was a rumor going around that the kid signed up for the Area 51 
one raid back in 2019, although there's no source on the post or on Google. Given the vine is more than 10 years old, Xavier is now presumably in his late teens or early 20s, although given he didn't really care about his fame in the first place. Hi right, bro, you know you famous bro? Yeah. You got like 200,000 revines bro. Okay. He's likely made the deliberate choice to keep his identity hidden. Ain't nothing wrong with it. So, okay. Ain't nothing wrong with it. You dismissed. I don't care. The internet ain't for everybody. Everybody yeah. don't want to live on the internet, man. That's, yeah. that's understandable, man. To be honest, it's it's best sometimes to keep your life private. Mm -hmm. Like your actual life. No matter... You can be on the internet, bro. People... I always say this. Sometimes the best thing to do, especially no matter like who you are, like a... A, a likeness out, mm -hmm. out in, the, in the world is to always keep something something about you a mystery. Mm -hmm. Keep people wondering yeah. and they'll keep people interested in you. The more you open and they feel like they know everything about you, what do they value to get to know you more about? You know what I'm saying? When you put everything out there to the world, they're like, hey, you know, I, I know. Well, some people, nowadays people look at it, I know you. Mm -hmm. But also... You still want some privacy. But oh, when you're sir. giving them everything, you don't have nothing to hide. You know? And so that leaves you more vulnerable. I, just, I think it's best sometimes, you know what I'm saying, just keep some things to yourself. Keep yeah, some like things away. Yeah, like pick and choose. Like, if that's what you want to do, like, just be wise and pick and choose what you want people to see, to see and mm -hmm. know about you. Like, you know, because some people put everything out there. They're super transparent with everything. Yeah. And teach his own. But, yeah. Yeah. I'll never. <laughs> hey, man. With that being said, make sure y'all spam us up in the comments, Please man. Y'all let us know y'all thoughts about it in the comment section down below. But, as always, I do go by the name DJ McKay. This is Dollar, 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 dollar. Let me watch out for my partners. Keep my money long, get my team strong. Let me run away from my pride.